What's going on? Are you serious? 3,000 dolphins have died on the coast of Peru? Why isn't this being covered by the ma major mass media? Where is CNN? Where is MSNBC? Oh, I forgot. Fox News, everybody's got too many political agendas, racial agendas, ethnic agendas, religious agendas, every kind of agenda except what's really going on. What? Meteorites racing through the sky right over top Christchurch, New Zealand, on Palm Sunday. The very meteorite that, that scientists never even saw coming just appears three days before it gets there. And then you've got a meteorite that just went over San Antonio, Texas yesterday. What's going on? Nobody's telling anybody anything. Pentagon has just went on red alert, watching with a close eye on North Korea. Will they fire that missile? While all this stuff's going on, you got three people sacrificed on an altar to, a, to the saint death. An idol, cult practice. Literally two little 10-year-old boys and a 55-year-old woman sacrificed on an altar. You got a gunman running into a, a nursing college, a Christian nursing university, and murdered seven people and severely wounded three. What? And 3,000 dead dolphins off the coast of Peru. Get a Bible and go to Hosea chapter 4. And then get ready to go to Zephaniah chapter 1. Because it, are people next? That's my question to you. Are people, mass people deaths next? Paul, don't do this to me. Paul, don't say this. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Now, let me read to you first what the report is. I want to thank Kitty Lindsay, who sent me this email. And I want to thank, thank you for that. Now, here's what it says. This is... Being reported, 3,000 dolphins found dead on the coast of Peru. Along just one stretch of coastline in Peru, more than 3,000 dolphins, dead dolphins, have washed ashore in just the last three months. And the disturbing trend may only be escalating. With the latest discovery of 481 lifeless dolphins, there in the last few recent days, residents have begun to demand an explanation for the mysterious mass deaths. And as far as the enlisted experts can tell, maybe it's the offshore oil exploration in the region that could be mostly, most likely the culprit. Well, according to a report, local fishermen are saying north of Peru uh, first began to notice this inexplicable rise in dead dolphins appearing on shore, averaging about 30 a day. Imagine that, 30 dead dolphins a day. While such mass orca st stranding are you know, not entirely uncommon or fully understood, Peruvian, Peruvian biologists um, are studying the animals and they say there's some activity, but... Uh, they don't know if petroleum companies in nearby waters are to blame for this instance. They don't know. Why don't they know? Well, there's no proof. The animals are not diseased, folks. The animals are not toxic. So they're not, it, no, they're not getting diseased. They're not being poisoned through toxics in the water or petroleum. Then what's causing it? Well, one, one theory is that the oil industry uses, uh, in the seabed, they use a very acoustic sensing um, sonar in searching for oil. And that's just a theory. Maybe that's causing it. I mean, I, you know, this is becoming a, a phenomenon. And it get, guess what, though? You can't really go with that. These are guesses. Because over in uh, New Zealand, there was no... There was no oil drilling going on in that area or in Australia, okay? So we don't know what's causing dolphins to die, whales to wash up dead. We don't know what's causing elephants and hippos to fall over dead in Zimbabwe. They weren't, they weren't shot and they weren't diseased. And they didn't, there was no, you know, no toxins out there in Zimbabwe. What? They don't know why 5,000 blackbirds are diving from the sky 
on New Year's Eve, just before the stroke of midnight in BB, Arkansas. Two New Year's Eves in a row. What? 5,000 one year, 6,000 this year, and 4,000 blackbirds dove headfirst into a Walmart parking lot last year in Utah. Salt Lake City, Utah. What? What's going on? Are you serious? Is there an explanation? Why are cattle falling over dead? Why are in, in Stockton, Wisconsin? Why are buffalo dying by the thousands in Vietnam? Why are 10,000 cattle falling over dead in Russia in a 10-day period? Why did 7,000 bald eagles gather at a landfill in Vancouver, Canada and begin to eat the dead carcasses of rats? Is there something going on? Well, let's see what the Bible says. In Hosea chapter 4, the scripture says this. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there's no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. And by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out. Who breaks out? We do. People sin. And blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn. And every one that dwelleth therein shall languish or waste away. Every one, it said, with the beast of the field, with the fowls of heaven, yea, with the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. But Zephaniah takes it to another level. He starts talking about people dying like that. Zephaniah, the prophet Zephaniah said these words in chapter 1. And the word of the Lord, which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushai, the, I will utterly consume all things, in verse 2. I will utterly consume all things up from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of heaven and the fishes of the sea. And the stumbling blocks with the wicked. I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord. Are you saved? I mean, you can't. It's not fireworks. Fireworks did not cause 5,000 blackbirds to dive out of the sky on New Year's Eve. It's not sonar that's caused 3,000 dolphins to wash up dead on the banks of Peru. It's not toxins that's caused 165 elephants and hippos to fall over dead in the jungles of Zimbabwe. It's not a moldy sweet potato that caused 212 cattle to die on a dairy farm in Stockton, Wisconsin in one night. What is causing 20,000 blue herring to wash up on the banks in Norway? What caused 2 million fish to wash up on the shores of Chesapeake Bay? What caused 7 million fish to wash up on the banks of Redondo Beach, California? How many times will we ask the question and how often will God refer to the fact there's no truth nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Sin, 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 and abominations, and hatred, and murder, and mayhem, and massacring. As a matter of fact, I just saw this morning, somebody sent me an email this morning. There's a pastor, I don't even know, I, yeah, I think his name's Brian Johnson, I should, I should have pulled that up. But every year during the Gay Pride Parade in Minneapolis, Minnesota, since 1995, he stands on the street and just hands out free Bibles. He don't preach at people. He don't condemn anybody. He don't hold up signs protesting. He don't do anything stupid. Just hands out Bibles. And people walk up to him and talk to him about Jesus. That's it. He's been doing this peaceably. Well, the organizers have decided they went to the city council and they have banned him. He cannot be there. He has to stay in a 10 by 10 little square off on a back road several blocks from the parade. He's nowhere he can know. There's nobody there. Why? What did he do? Where's his freedom of speech? 
There's no truth. There's no truth. There's no truth in the land.